Hey there, viewers, and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Guys, got a 1989 Chevrolet. It's the Camaro. It's the IROC. It's got the Z28, the big 5.0 tune port, and it needs a radiator. Fortunately for this fellow, I was able to find an OEM radiator still, which is great. So let's get after it. Looks like we're going to take some of these plastic bits off. Must have old Cat and Nancy in here barking. Boy, I tell you, you don't see many of these things. Who remembers growing up with these babies when you thought that the uh, 195 horsepower that the two port five liter put out was the bee's knees? You know, granted they're you know almost 300 foot pounds of torque, but if you look at it in today's perspective, you know you've got the Honda Civic Si with its 1.5 liter that has five more horsepower than you know this monstrosity. You bought 100 foot pounds less torque, but you know all the same, I guess it's just kind of hard to imagine, you know, growing up around these things, having Molly Hatchet on the tape deck, thinking that somebody's gonna smoke in a 1.5 liter four cylinder, but <laughs> I guess it's all, oh, that's false advertisement. This is not kind of Nancy. These are just plain old, plain old here. But anyhow, let's uh, set this to the side. I see that clamp wasn't tight there, but most everything here, I see she's rock hard. Everything's pretty plasticky, even stuff that's supposed to be rubber. So we do have to be careful. Uh, she's pretty mint. Got a couple clamps on here. Still got the old school wire clamps. Uh, the car never gets driven, so I'm not worried about changing hoses or anything. It just sits until it you know leaks on the floor so we're gonna pull this upper piece off i think we're gonna unbolt the fans from it and i do believe it looks like the fans are bolted to the lower core support which i don't believe we have to take off so we'll see if we can't get this upper piece off without casualty and we'll be very careful Okay, that went without casualties. I think we're almost done. <laughs> it's pretty nice doing a uh, radiator where it doesn't involve like, you know, pulling the bumper cover and things like that. We do have to drain it. Typically, I just whip off the bottom hose. The clamp for the bottom hose comes from the bottom up though. So let's go underneath it, get that loose, see if there's a peacock we can uh, loosen up also. So there's a peacock right here, let's see if it, Oh, he even comes undone, even better. Yeah, it might be all plugged up. And there she goes. Whoa. Whoa, fella. It feels like it's all plugged up with stuff. We got the old kitty litter pan here. See if we can't catch some of it. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to use what they call a half inch wrench. Haven't used one of these in about 17 years. However, I still have one. Uh, <laughs> that's the training cooler line there. So we got that undone. We still need to get the radiator hose though. So. We're gonna use an eight millimeter on it. It's probably five sixteenths. But eight millimeter and five sixteenths are super close. I believe, I believe it is loose. Yeah, it goes on plastic. Uh, plastic radiator so shouldn't be too corroded or stuck I think we could probably pull that make sure you got your bucket somewhat ready here just in case we gotta move you folks you're gonna get a little we're gonna freeze on you if we don't there we go not too bad 
Not bad at all. Okay, we'll stick that hose out of the way. Pull that peacock back out of there. Whoa! Yeah, she's a squirter. Now that we've defeated the lower hose, we'll attempt the upper hose here. Unwind that clamp. Look at that off, that was pretty painless. Let's see, we'll kind of tip this back here, keep that right out of our way. And then we've got a couple clamps over here, one for the overflow and one for the bypass it looks like. both of those and then we have one more transmission line we'll use the old half inch wrench same as the bottom just kind of crack that loose and spin that off. Now, I think that's it folks <laughs> That's it. Okay. A little bit of stuff down here needs to be taken out. Seems good to me. We'll put this baby in. We'll get our fans buckled back down. Then we should be uh, we should be good to go. I was pleasantly surprised to be able to get an OEM radiator. I'll tell you that. I think perhaps some of the crappiest fit and parts aftermarket are radiators. They are usually just terrible. I've gone through a lot of different brands also, and haven't been pleased with very many of them aftermarket wise. It's always something, always something that's a little fiddly on them, or you got to frig around with it. Get it exactly how you need it. And then we're going to stick the bigger bolts here back in the top of the, re uh, the fans here. Get them lined up. So the other thing you notice on today's cars that's a little different than it was back in the big hair days is the advancements in the plastic, I'll tell you that. On the exception of Volkswagen um, and like the Daewoo GMs there, the Chevrolets. Uh, the plastic on modern cars is so much more forgiving than it is on these older ones. But we'll see in 30 years what that stuff's like, but let's be honest, our cars of today aren't going to be running in 30 years. <laughs> I, know, I could be wrong, they might be running, but they don't have the same appeal as some of the old muscle cars, I guess. Not that this is a muscle car, but you know what I mean, like, you know, the cool cars, man. I just don't foresee myself taking my grandkids to a car show and be like, uh, look at that Chevy Aveo over there, kids. <laughs> Met your mother in one of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
Oh, let's see. Oh, we got a sticker here. We got a warning. What's that tell us? Oops, I just ripped it in half. Probably said do not remove under the penalty of law. It says. It says here, this oil cooler has an inverted fire stick seal. Install the fittings and hand tighten them. Hand tight and then wrench one quarter turn or torque to five pounds maximum. Over tightening will cause severe damage. Holy crap. I don't want to die. Let's see if we can't get these things lined up here. I'm going to reach down on the bottom one. Make sure it's coming around where it needs to be. We can put this little fella back on over right here. One of these wasn't attached. Feels like all of the quarter turn fasteners are there. There's that one. There's that one. All right. Whoop! Got me. Probably shouldn't be stupid. We probably should not touch that, but we're gonna. That's far as I'm gonna go with it. It's not super critical. Oh, it snugged it right up. We did good. And I just spent the last uh, seven hours getting this training line started here. But I spared you all of that grief and heartache I was going through. And we can mention the other advancements that they make today's day and age. It's called the Quick Connect. Uh, you know, we might gripe about jiffy tight connectors, but I tell you what, boys. We fought with the training line for, I don't know, six or seven hours. You really appreciate those. It wasn't that bad, but it does feel like a lifetime. I just had to have my guy Josh come over and hold the line straight while I started it. That's all. We gotta get this clamp back around where we need it. I, oh yeah, in case you didn't notice, I did put the lower radiator hose back on. Come on, baby, spin around. There we go. We gotta get this started. Green coolant, you don't see that much nowadays. We'll get it filled up here. And we'll warm it up, take it for a rip. What are you doing? What are you doing? Clean your car. Why are you cleaning my car? For your birthday. For my birthday? For your what? birthday. Psh, way to go girl. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you put her up to that? What? She wanted to do something for your birthday. Oh, well, that's pretty nice. <laughs>
that's that folks uh putting the radiator in your 1989 chevrolet camaro uh z28 the irock and bob seeger ripping on the cd player i swear i saw an eagle fly by when that guitar riff came in there i could be wrong though but that is about as american as you can get right here folks uh car with two keys one step above a carburetor and uh you know a 20 minute radiator replacement so I'm gonna sit here and reminisce for a minute. And why don't you guys reminisce down in that comment section? While you're down there, find us on the Insty, the Facebook. And uh, just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.